Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Techware Phantom L. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this keyboard from Techware. Now, this is the Phantom L low profile mechanical gaming keyboard featuring RGB lighting, as you'd expect. And this comes with a range of switches from Otamu. So you can use the blues, the browns, or the reds. And for those of you that aren't aware of Otamu switches, Otamu switches are very convincing clones of the oh-so-popular Cherry MX brand of switches. The colors represent the direct comparisons. So a Otamu red is very similar to the Cherry MX red, etc., etc. You get the general idea. So let's take a look at some of the specs of this keyboard before we take it out of the box and see what it has to offer. So this particular version has the 87 key standard QWERTY layout, LED lighting with 16.8 million colors possible with the RGB LEDs, and there are 18 built-in hardware LED modes. The switches are modular low profile mechanical switches and the polling rate is 1000 Hertz. You've got full N key rollover, and also you've got a selection of multimedia keys which work in combination with the function key, which I personally am not a big fan of. I would prefer to see separate multimedia keys, but it does seem to be the way that the market is going at the moment. Cable is a detachable 1.8 meter braided USB type C cable, which is a fantastic inclusion. System requirements for the software, which you can control the keyboard with, is uh, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and of course, Windows 10. The warranty is one year and the dimensions are 351.5 by 133 by 30.8 millimeters. The weight of the keyboard without the cable is just slightly under 600 grams. You're looking at 589 grams and the software can be downloaded from their website should you wish to control it from your computer. So let's take a look and see what we actually get in the box. And speaking of which, the box actually, the packaging on these, I really do like the look of, is kind of slightly understated, but does the job. And actually, this is a relatively budget keyboard. Now, for a 10 keyless setup, at the moment in the UK, this isn't currently available. It is available in other locations around the globe, which I will be putting affiliate links to in the description so you can check out it for yourself. Uh, but currently, pricing, if you go on a direct comparison, this is going to be retailing for around about the £45 mark in the UK when it eventually gets here, which for me actually is a fantastic price point. It's not kind of uh, bank breakingly expensive, but it's not too cheap to make it a nasty keyboard to use. So for me, this is in the kind of perfect ballpark for what I would be looking at paying for a mechanical keyboard. Now, some people may look at this and not like the whole 10 keyless aspect of it, no number pad, all that kind of stuff. It depends who you are, what you're using it for. Essentially, this is tailored towards gamers. For people who are doing other things like editing or spreadsheets and things like that, where you actually need a number pad, this is not aimed at you. So you may like it, you may not. I would suggest try it. I am kind of on the fence at the moment. I actually do quite like the compact size of this, but I'm not too sure about not having a number pad. But don't worry if that is a problem. If you do want a number pad, then there is the uh, standard Phantom version of this keyboard, which is also fantastic, which I have reviewed previously, which you can check out up here. And I find that to be very, very nice indeed. Anyway, let's get back to this particular model. So usual kind of quality from Techware. So you've got your double shot molded keycaps, which are very nice. And I actually do appreciate the font they've used on here. It's quite a nice, clean, crisp font, and it's very easy to work out which letters or numbers it is you're actually pressing. Now, as you can see here, we've got the Otamu red colored switches in this particular model. Like I said before, you've got reds, browns, or blues as an option. All of these are actually removable and hot swappable. So if for any reason you should get a damaged switch, which is pretty unlikely, they're very well made, but should you get a broken switch, it's very easy to rectify that fault with the included pullers and also spare switches. And this is another thing I really do like to see on a keyboard at this particular price point is a removable switch. So you get removable switches. There's four included in the pack. You also get your keycap puller and also your switch puller. So you've got everything you need straight away actually in the packaging, which I think is fantastic. There are so many mechanical keyboards on the market at the moment, which are considerably more expensive than this one that do not have removable key switches which for me is a, a crazy thing. I have actually had to personally desolder a keyboard in order to replace a defective switch. And that is not a fun task, I'll let you know. So let's get back to the keyboard itself. So the keyboard, I said, 
It's 10 keyless design. The slope of the keyboard is very low profile. That is the whole idea of this particular model. The switches have got a low profile. The actual keys are low profile. So it's a more tactile and quicker response time, at least in theory. The top deck of the keyboard is in steel, which is really nice. And there is virtually no flex in that top deck. There's a little bit, in, as you can feel from the plastic base, but you couldn't have it metal on both sides. I think that would be just too heavy and too expensive to produce. But on the bottom, you've got these nice rubberized feet, and that is actually something else from Techware, which I've noticed before. The feet are very, very good quality, and the rubber is actually a big chunk of rubber. So when it's actually firmly planted on the desk, it doesn't want to move around hardly at all, even with quite a, a lot of pressure on it. So it's not gonna be slipping and sliding all over your desk. So that's the feet. Without the feet actually attached, in its low profile mode is actually very low and the relief you feel on your wrist straight away is actually really nice. It's, some keyboards tend to be quite high, quite steep and it can give you kind of that angle which is not very comfortable at all but whereas with this it's a really nice typing uh, distance. I, I wish all keyboards were this low profile and as you can hear from the click in The switches are very really nice and where they bottom out it does feel very, very nice indeed. I do like these switches. I'm a big fan of the Ottomu switch. A lot of people rave on about the Cherry MXs, but I really do struggle to find the difference between a good Ottomu switch and a Cherry MX. I really do. Anyway, that's enough of that. So let's look at what else we get in the box. So this is the braided USB type C cable. And it's also got a Velcro strap, so you can do a little bit of cable management should you wish to. The uh, nice thing to see actually is these are gold plated as well. That's uh, actually quite unusual to see on a, uh, a USB type C cable, especially one that comes with a keyboard. So all you need to do is USB type C in the back, and then you can plug the other end into your computer, your Macintosh, whatever you choose it to be maybe even a uh, Android device of some sort, you can plug into pretty much anything that supports the USB protocols. So I'm gonna plug this in now so we can see the lights come on and you can see what it's like. And uh, yeah. Okay, so we turn the lights down in the studio just so you can get a good idea of what these actually look like. And it's definitely a really nice color pattern. The, um, the actual spread of them, the per key lighting, all that kind of thing, the, the actual effects are very, very smooth. The transitions are really, really nice. And it's not kind of, eye-splittingly bright. It's a, a really nice um, illumination. It's not going to be distracted, but it's also does give you a kind of nice sense of style as well. So I take off one of these key caps, or you can get an idea of what the actual LED is like. It's not, uh, it's not particularly bright. There are adjustments you can make to it, so you can use the function key and you can change the brightness, etc. So let's turn that right down. So use the up and down keys and you can adjust the brightness. So that is on its full brightness at the moment. And you can use the other keys to change the, uh, the LED aspects, the colors, etc. And there's various preset modes, which you can go through. Lots of different options. Now we'll go through in the software actually and show you some of the other versions. I can actually see the reflection in the camera. There. So this is the sine wave effect at the moment, which is running on the keyboard, which I actually quite like. That's a, a quite an interesting, interesting layout. Now you can control this. Like I said, Techware have got some software which runs on Windows 10 and you can go in and you can configure your own lighting styles, per key illuminations, all that kind of stuff. You really can go to town with it. And also they do have an option for setting macros as well. So if you want to set a macro up, you can do those as well. I think there's uh, four different macros you can set up or a list of different macros you can set up. But again, if you wanna play with the software, you can actually download the software and try it on your PC before you've tried a keyboard. So you could always do that if you wanted to. Again, keycaps I find really nice, well shot. The keys switches are actually all removable, which is a nice thing to see. Just it's a really nice all round keyboard. And I say the lighting effect is uh, fantastic. I really do like it. I'm really struggling to find fault with this keyboard. Anyway, let's turn the studio lights back on. Okay, so we've got the lights back on now. So this is what the keyboard looks like in full bright illumination. We've got some very high wattage watt light bulbs here. But again, you can still see what the lighting effects are like. And it's actually, it's still very, very nice. 
Now for me personally, this keyboard layout, again, this is in the American style rather than the UK style. So for me, it's not entirely perfect. I do struggle to get used to that single height return key after all those years of kind of muscle memory. But still, I have used this for an extended period and I find it to be very nice, very comfortable. Um, it's just a shame at the moment they're not releasing them currently in the UK. When they do, I'm gonna be one of the first customers knocking at their door. But anyway, this has been the Techware Phantom L low profile gaming keyboard. I've been Mike, this is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to, and hopefully we'll be catching you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.